In order for a business to keep track of its inventory, that is to say the goods that it sells, accounting has developed two different systems to make the process a bit more manageable. Firstly, let's have a look at the perpetual or continuous inventory system. This system is ideally suited for businesses who sell easily identifiable items that are barcoded. For example, a large retailer would record the inventory purchased directly to the inventory account at cost. At the time of sale, the cost price of an inventory item is transferred from the inventory account to the cost of sales account. In the perpetual inventory system, inventory is seen as an asset. So how does this affect the ledger account? When inventory is purchased, we will debit the inventory at the cost price. Remember, inventory is an asset, and assets increase on the debit side. We will then credit the bank or the creditor's account, depending on how the purchase was made. When the inventory is sold, there are two transactions that need to take place. Firstly, we will credit the sales. This is an income. Remember, income increases on the credit side. This is done at the sales price. Then we will debit bank or debtors, depending on how the transaction took place. Secondly, we will need to credit the inventory account. Remember, inventory is an asset. Assets decrease on the credit side. And then we will debit the cost of sales account. This is an expense. And remember, expenses increase on the debit side. So let's have a look at some practical examples using the perpetual inventory system. Inventory is purchased at a cost of 50,000 Rand for cash. This transaction will be recorded in the cash payments journal at cost price. So remember we said inventory is an asset. So we know we are dealing with the inventory account. And this was a purchase made for cash, so we're dealing with bank. Inventory increases because we have purchased inventory. And remember, we need to record the transaction at cost. So on the debit side, we will then increase inventory by 50,000 Rand. This was a cash purchase, which means that it was money leaving the bank. Bank is also an asset, and assets decrease on the credit side. Therefore, we will credit bank with 50,000 Rand.